Okay, hi everyone. This is what we're doing today. This is uh, just a jump man jumping off a cliff. All right, so I've just made a very long, narrow JPG, uh, imported it into, into Flash, and just put uh, a very simple uh, man jumping animation. All right, first step. All right, I've got my long, narrow Photoshop file here. All right, so I've just got uh, two layers. Um, just the main layer, and just over the top, I've just got the uh, the cliff where my feet are. All right, so the jumping man will just fall underneath that. All right, save as a Photoshop. Now let's go into Flash and make a new file. All right, I'm just going to make mine 200 by 400 pixels. All right, now next thing I want to do is I just want to make sure I've got my rulers. All right, you're going to need these guides a bit later. All right, so just to, to help line everything up. All right, there we go. All right, also just make sure that your tools are showing. All right, I had a trouble finding those in, um, in, in CS6 a while back. There we go. All right, oh, cool. Now let's import our Photoshop file. File, import. Import to stage, Command or Control R. And here it is, here's the Photoshop file. There it is, our layers have been imported. Okay, or will be imported. Okay, there we go. Now, let's save these as uh, symbols. All right, now the guides were helpful because it actually shows our, our stage size there. All right, let's click on our top layer. Right mouse button and convert to symbol. All right, I'm going to call that top layer. Uh, nope, that was, I made a mistake there. That was my bottom layer. All right, there we go. Top layer here. Right click, convert to symbol. Top layer. Okay, that's good. All right, I can see over here in my library just what I've made. Go to the background. Select that, right mouse button, convert to symbol, and I'm going to call that background. Okay, there we go. So there's my two symbols. Now I'm ready to make the animation. I'll start with my top layer first. Select my first keyframe, right mouse button, and create motion tween. Okay, it's a little bit different from CS3. All right, there we go. And I'm going to start my animation proper in keyframe 20. So right mouse button, insert keyframe, and all. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go to keyframe 120. All right, make sure that I'm actually in there as well. Insert keyframe, and all. All right, now, okay, good. I needed that red line to make sure that I'm actually working in it. Had some problems there before. All right, now I'm ready to move this up. All right, so I'll use my shift key to make sure it's all in line. All right, I should just probably zoom out a bit, but that's okay. Shift, and there it is. Very good. Now I'm going to go to, say, keyframe 130. Right click, insert keyframe, and all. All right, so it's just gonna hold for a bit, move, then hold for a bit. All right, so I'll do exactly the same with my background layer. All right, click. Oh, sorry, make sure that I put my motion tween in first. Create motion tween. All right, go to keyframe 20. Insert keyframe and all. Again, make sure that you've got your red, that red line um, where you want your animation to be. Good, here it is. Right click, insert keyframe and all. All right, and I can just put this up into position. All right, oops. That's the wrong one. Just zoom out a bit so I can see how far I'm going. All right, nearly there, and there I am. All right, good. 
wall working nicely. Now let's go to the end, insert keyframe and all. All right, so I've got my, uh, my movement happening there now. Now let's put my jumping man in. Oops, let's go to here. All right, now I'm gonna have to put my jumping man in between my top layer and background. All right, so I'll just be on background, make a new layer. I'm gonna call this jumping man. Okay, now I will go to the first frame and I'm just gonna paint him in. I'm just gonna paint him in something quite garish just so that we can see him. All right, and here he is. He's gonna be on that cliff. All right, so I'm just gonna draw in Something very, very basic here. All right, there we go. Now I'll click on this, right click, convert to symbol. All right, make sure it's a movie clip. Jumping man. All right, good. Now I can just double click on him and uh, I'm just gonna duplicate that again because he's just gonna have um, his arms and legs moving. Insert keyframe. All right, now I'll just go in and draw the uh, the legs. All right, so there we go. Pretty basic. You may already have your own animation uh, sorted out. If so, that's good. All right, now I'll go to this one here, and he's just going to be jumping. All right, a little bit. All right. There we go. All right, very simple. All right, there we go. All right, so let's now, we're, in, we're just working jumping man. Let's go back to scene one. Good, now let's have him, jumping man, right click, create motion twin. Now, it's gonna start jumping at 10. Right, okay, right click, insert keyframe and position. All right. And now, okay, let's say at 15, he's going to jump again. So keyframe all. So there he goes up there. Let's use our free transform. Let's move him around a bit. All right, let's move him out a bit more. There he goes, and just down when it starts moving, that's where he should be. Insert keyframe, all, and let's put him down here. Let's scale him a little bit. All right, and there we go. All right, now he's just gonna keep going all the way down. All right, I'll just hide my top layer for a moment. Okay, there he goes. And I'm just going to rotate him a bit like so. And I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. Oops. All right, like so. All right. There we go. All right. So we can see him just jumping all okay. There we go. All right, so control enter. Let's have a look how he's going. And there he goes down. All right. So I think you get the idea of it, quite simple. And um, yeah, you can have a bit of fun with it. And uh, that should be it, okay, thank you very much.